going on guys SPS from the ground up John Satellino here once again um, do not mind me I will not be staring at the phone I'm trying to drive here <clears throat> um, this video is based on an old post that I had made because of someone's comment sorry my phone was just saying that my battery is almost dead um, so I think this is really important because I had already made a comment and now I'm making a video about it. Hopefully it actually posts this time. If not, I'm gonna go fucking nuts because this is probably the fourth or fifth time I'm trying to post this video. And uh, if this doesn't work, I'm done with YouTube. Anyways, so I'm gonna try and make this uh, quick because I've had seven minute videos, 10 minute videos. I'm gonna try and wrap it up real quick. Long story short is we all started our business for a reason, financial freedom, uh, try and spend more time with family and friends uh, and really just enjoy life a lot more mowing lawns is great very easy simple uh, it is hard work don't get me wrong but there are harder jobs out there that you could be doing uh, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do what we do uh, the point is you know <sighs> compile all these thoughts together um, don't work your life away. Now, where I want to go with this is there's has been research studies done about people taking vacations, people taking time off, people that don't work their life away. Uh, you know, big businesses that make their employees, I mean make their employees take vacations. The statistic says that they're, I forget what it is, but it's they're more productive than the average guy that works 50 hours a week, tries to put in overtime, and refuses to take vacations. Uh, now, I think the reason for this is, you know, you get some stress relief when you take a vacation. So, what I want all of you to do, even if you're in your first year, put some money aside. Now, for some of us that do lawns, it's great because we can actually have time off in the winter time if you don't plow. I personally don't plow yet. Do I plan on plowing? Yes, I do. So I took my vacation about two weeks ago. I went up to New Hampshire and it was great. I did a lot of nothing. I sat around. We did a lazy river. That was about three and a half hours long. I had a massive sunburn all over my fucking body. I'm actually finally starting to heal up from it. Um, but if you work your life away, you know, you always got to remember about your family and your friends. I mean, me personally, I haven't seen most of my friends in quite some time. Last time I hung out with one of my friends was probably about three months ago. Um, and she had moved from Florida to here, uh, or back from Florida to Rhode Island. And it was great, you know, hung out, chatted, so on and so forth. But now I haven't seen her in about three months, which is fine. Uh, but me personally, I try and take one day off a week. Try not to kill myself with work. It is my first year, and I know a lot of you guys feel overwhelmed and stressed about you know making money and paying bills, but it really shouldn't be that hard. Because if you were making it, um, working one or two full-time jobs, and you really go out there and you hustle, and I mean you're out there hustling. When I first started, I was out there about six days a week. I still had my days off, but uh, I'm still, say if you were to look at number-wise, I am probably at 75% of what I made last year in two full-time jobs working my one full-time job now. Uh, and that was two full-time jobs and my job, or trying to start my business. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm not making millions of dollars, I'm not the richest man, I am not you know, promoting make a million dollars, I mean I do plan on making a million dollars. Will it happen? Who the fuck knows? Uh, that's my ambition. I want to make a million dollars. Everyone wants to make a fucking million dollars. But you need to make time for your friends and your family, um, which is you know part of the reason why I started my business. Um, you know, I was working quick synopsis of everything. I was working two full time jobs uh, for probably worked one full time job that was minimum sixty hours a week for eight years I mean I eventually started cutting back and got other jobs and so on and so forth um, and then I was working two full-time jobs for probably three years and then I was trying to do 
my own business while working two full-time jobs for probably two years. And now I decided I was gonna do it all on my own this year because I made a lot of promises that I couldn't keep last year working two full-time jobs. It was, it was just insane. I couldn't keep doing it. It was nuts. I actually lost clients, uh, which if you watch my videos, you would know. Um, so, you know, if you keep working your life away, you got to remember, you're working your life away to enjoy your life, enjoy your family, enjoy everything, pretty much. But if you're working seven days a week from sunup to sundown, what happens if tomorrow, God forbid, I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to happen, but it could to anybody. If you were to not wake up tomorrow, what are your family and friends going to remember about you? That you were a workaholic, that you were probably a good guy, but all they're going to remember at the end of the day, after so on, like so many years, all you did was work. You didn't have time to sit down and relax and enjoy your family, enjoy your life. They're not going to have those those memories of doing things. You know, I I went I went minimum almost like seven years with no vacation or no time off, no nothing. I had no time to do anything. This is my first year where I am taking some time off and I could be making a lot more money, And but I'm taking a step back. I wanna enjoy my life while working it. So do me a favor, take some time, put it aside, put some money aside, put some of your cash jobs, because we all have those cash clients, uh, some of you have more than others. I probably only have like five cash customers. I want to keep everything on the books. That's just me. Um, I have other plans in the mix. You know, I want to buy a house, start renting out houses and this, that, and the other. Uh, and the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you have a record of your income. So I want all of my people on, you know, regular pay schedule or pay checks, re receipts, and all that kind of stuff for tax purposes. Um, so what I do is my cash customers, probably 50% of my cash customers, all that cash goes separate into, you know, somewhere where all of my cash is and that either goes towards vacations or new equipment. Uh, and that's what I would suggest most of you guys do because I'm telling you, you need to take vacations and you need to relax, you need to de-stress. You cannot work your life away. I'm telling you, you do not want to. At some point in your life, you're gonna look at yourself and say, what have I done in the past 5, 10, 15, whatever it may be? You're going to say, wow, all I've done is work. I have no memories of anything. You might have one memory of one day. Put a couple days of, uh, a year, at least a couple days a year aside for vacation. All right, well, I'm still driving. Uh, that's about as quick as I could have made this video. All right, hopefully I can upload it. If you like this video, like, hit the, that subscribe button, hit that share button, you know, get the word around for all you guys that uh, are just starting your business or even in the business still, and all you do is work your life away. I can guarantee you all the big guys will agree with what I'm saying. Get yourself some time off, just do it. You will appreciate it, you will appreciate what I'm saying. All right, you guys. Enjoy the weather. Don't freaking melt your ass off. Drink plenty of water. John Satellino's out again. Have a good one, guys.